So we've talked about the area moments of inertia that measure resistance to bending about the x-axis and about the y-axis. But there are three axes in 3D. We also have moments about the z-axis. Now, if you put a moment about this beam and about the z-axis, what you're doing is twisting the beam. The polar moment of inertia, which we call J, measures resistance to twisting in a beam. So, J is, by definition, the distance that the material is off that axis. So, if you look at the cross-section, we're going to integrate R squared dA. So, here's my cross-section. This is R. How far out is my bit differential of differential area dA? It's resistance to the me distance in <laughs> measures resistance to the moments in Z. R is the distance off that Z axis. And you can sort of see that R is going to be the square root of X squared plus Y squared. So, so R squared, this R squared is X squared plus Y squared. Well, if you distribute that through your integral, what you're then showing is that J is the sum of the two moments of inertia, Ix and Iy. And if you look at how that sort of works for a rectangular beam, here's my beam, there's my cross section, with x and y, j is ix plus iy, it's a rectangle. You've got 112 bh cubed, and you're going to cube the 1 perpendicular to the axis. So h is perpendicular to the x-axis, b is perpendicular to the y-axis, and now you've got j, which you can calculate, is 112 bh times b squared plus a squared.